St. Martin de Porres was born in Lima, Peru on the 9th of December 1579. His father was a Spanish nobleman and his mother was a freed slave of Panama whose nationality and ethnicity is disputed. As a young boy, Martin was known for his generosity and piety. He would often share what little food he had with beggars and before reaching his adolescent years, devoted hours of his days to prayer. By the age of 12, he would secure a job as a barber's assistant and by 15 entered the religious life by joining the Covenants of the Rosary, a Dominican order as a lay helper. To the shame of the Church within Lima, racial restrictions during this era would initially prevent Martin from joining the order as a brother. Sadly, racial ridicule was a common feature of his life. However, by his mid-twenties, he achieved the title of Dominican Brother through virtue of his piety, charitable nature and friendly manner. Martin was perhaps most famed for his nursing of the sick and his charitable works. He would often serve his local community and in his later life established an orphan school named the Holy Cross, which would teach young boys and girls life skills and trades to improve their future prospects. He was known for his devotion to the Eucharist and constant prayer, and he refrained from eating meat as an act of austerity. He was said to have levitated during prayer, have the gift of biolocation, possess miraculous knowledge, and performed instantaneous cures. St. Martin de Porres passed away on November the 3rd, 1639, and was canonized by Pope John the 23rd in 1962. He is the patron saint of barbers, social justice, racial harmony and people of mixed race. Heavenly Father, you call us to a life of love and devotion of both you and neighbour. Today, I will look to the example of Saint Martin de Porres and place the needs of others before my own and seek a closer friendship with you, our most loving God, so that your love through my service might win the day and inspire others to look to your calling, to your son and find true happiness in sacrificial love and service.